Welcome back friends. Kwenye kipindi kilichopita tuko naangalia uh, kuhusu Dalton slow na tuendelee na concept ya mole fraction pamoja na partial pressure. Uh, from the Dalton slow tulisema kwamba P toto inakuwa sana P1 ku plus P2 ku plus P3. Now manake kama tuna container hii hapa then container may contain three gases. Um tuna P1 plus P2 plus P3. Kwa hiyo bila shaka katika hizi gas tatu, let's say tuna uh, tuna argon, tuna nitrogen, let's say na oxygen. And let let's we assume that gases do not do not react. Kama zi react manake argon atakuwa na pressure yake, huyu ana pressure yake na yule ana pressure yake. Yes. This they exist as diatomic molecule. Kwa unachoweza kuona ni kwamba katika pressure toto yule pale kuna kwa kuna fraction ya pressure ambayo ni yule pale. Sasa tukichukua P1 ganye kwa P toto tunapata kitu fulani pale. P1 yani pressure gas fulani ganye kwa P toto napata kitu fulani. Ambayo tulisema hivi tulisema hivi from PV is equal to NR T tukasema hivi P toto itakuwa sana N1 plus N2 plus N3 then all are divided by V but we also said that N1 plus N2 plus N3 is equal to N toto so P toto will be is equal to N toto RT divided by V Asa tukichukua namba fumulu mmoja n1 ganya kwa n toto hii hapa ndio inaitwa mole fraction na is represented by x so kama tukichukua namba fumulu labda za oxygen tukigawanya kwa namba fumulu toto itapata mole fraction ya nani ya oxygen gas so as defined before partial pressure the pressure which would be exerted by a particular gas constituent in, in the gases mixture if the gas would be alone in the container at the same condition kwa kwenye condition the pressure and temperature zile zile kama gas ingekuwa peke kwenye container inge exert pressure flani sasa hiyo gas hata kama ikiwa kwenye mixture ile pressure inayopata inaitwa nini inaitwa partial pressure vile vile so mole fraction nini a uh, mole fraction refers to the ratio of number of moles of a component mole fraction represented is x the number of moles of the component are compared to let's say a divided by number of moles total this will be called as mole fraction of a so we found the ratio of number of moles of the component to the total number of moles of all components in the mixture it is denoted as x so mole fraction of a that is ax is equal to number of moles of a divided by number of moles total and as I have already explained to you about the Dalton's law, to go to 91 plus N2 plus N3, this is equal to N total. So pressure total itakuwa sana from the Dalton's law, pressure total will be equal to N total, then R T divided by V. And pressure of a component, let's say 1, pressure 1 will be equal to number of moles 1, uh, number of moles 1, R T divided by V. So let's say in this equation you are making the subject n total. n total will be equal to pressure total then v divided by r t. And then making the subject n1 from here, n1 will be equal to p1 v divided by r t. Now from the formula of mole fraction, a uh, mole fraction of 1 will be equal to number of moles of 1 divided by number of moles total. Uh, taking these two equations substitute them here au utakuja kupata kwamba huyu hapa 1 ni sawa sawa nini ni sawa sawa p total uh, i mean p1 v divided by rt uh, divided by p total v divided by rt na kama unavyojua hapo division of fraction itakuwa sana p1 v divided by rt times uh, rt then p total v v na v rt na rt hapo tabakia mole fraction 1 is equal to p1 divided by p total 
So sometimes small fraction can be defined in terms of partial pressures. In terms of partial pressures. Because here, as you can see, partial pressure 1 will be equal to small fraction 1, P total. Apo ki make subject partial pressure 1. Partial pressure 1 takwa sana, small fraction 1, P total. Kwa small fraction can be defined in terms of, of pressure. And also, in order to get the pressure of one component, you need to know it is a mole fraction. You need to know the number of moles of a substance and number of moles of, of the mixture. So, defining the mole fraction in terms of pressure, uh, in terms of partial pressure, mole fraction can be defined as the ratio of partial pressure of a gas component to the total partial pressure of all gases component in the mixture. So, mole fraction of A will be equal to partial pressure of A divided by Total partial pressure P total. Also, partial pressure can be given as the product of mole fraction of the gas and the total pressure of gases in the mixture. So the expression can be seen like this way. Partial pressure gas on a nini mole fraction or gas times nini total pressure. Apu tunapata partial pressure nani ya gas. Now suppose we have two gases in the container, gas A and gas B. Uh, suppose you have two gases in the container, gas A and gas B. Now for gas A, mole fraction of A. Then for gas B, mole fraction of B. Then you have pressure total. Our uh, pressure total will be is equal to pressure of A plus pressure of B. Pressure total will be is equal to what is the pressure of A is equal to mole fraction of A. Mole fraction of A, pressure total plus mole fraction of B, pressure total. So pressure total, in other words, will be equal to mole fraction of A, plus mole fraction of B, then pressure total. You see, if you divide by pressure total both sides, pressure total, pressure total, pressure total, the pressure total will remain 1. So mole fraction of A plus mole fraction of B will be equal to 1. What does this imply? Mole fraction total mole fractions of all components is equal to 1. Kwa hiyo jumla ya mole fraction lazima iwe 1. Jumla ya mole fraction ya component lazima iwe 1. Note the summation of mole fraction of various components in the mixture must be equal to 1. Uh, summation of mole fraction must be equal to 1. Uh, unozo kaona ni, ni, ni kufanya tu calculation flani ambazo wana verify lakini tadi tumesha, tumesha eleza uko mwanzoni. Kwa mba kwa mfano mole fraction of A ni sana number of moles of A ganya kwa number of moles of A plus number of moles of B. Then mole fraction of B takwa sani number of moles of B divided by number of moles of A plus number of moles of B. So, mole fraction of A plus mole fraction of B, it across a number of moles of A divided by number of moles of A plus number of moles of B, it plus na number of moles of A divided by number of moles of A plus number of moles of B. So, takajokujo kipata takwa number of moles of A plus number of moles, I mean mole fraction of A, plus mole fraction of B itakuwa sana. Ukuchini malaki tuweka number of moles of A plus number of moles of B. Tukidivide ba itakuwa 1, itakuwa number of moles of A. E tukidivide ba itakuwa 1, ita plus number of moles E, number of moles of B. So number of moles of B. Number of moles of A, number of moles of B, number of moles of A, number mole fraction of A plus mole fraction of B. Tukidivide hapo, its answer will be equal to 1. So the total mole fraction of all gases must be equal to must be equal to one. As already started before that introduction of new gas in the container does not change the partial pressure of gases in the container, but instead will increase total pressure of the gases in the container. To understand this, consider the gas C uh, consider the gas C introduced in a container of volume V with the two gases C, A and B at temperature T. Uh, to record to na pressure A, ambari kwa sana, mole fraction of A, pressure total, ambari kwa sana, 
number of moles of A ganya kwa number of moles of A plus number of moles of B pressure total um, kwa namna nyingine hii hapa ni sasa na kusema kwamba hii ni mole fractions na pressure total kama unakumbuka ni sasa na kusema kwamba number of moles of A ganya kwa number of moles of A plus number of moles of B pressure total na kuaje number of moles total ambayo number of moles of A plus number of moles of B divided by V R T that is to say this is equal to number of moles of A R T divided by V kwa sababu hii na hii zinaweza kuisha hapo uh, pia tukija kwenye pressure of B mara yake itakuwa ni mole fraction of B pressure total a uh, number of moles of b divided by number of moles of a plus number of moles of, of b pressure total which is equal to uh, number of moles of a divided by number of moles of a plus number of moles of b number of moles of a plus number of moles of b divided by v uh, number of moles of b up then r t so ile na ile taisha tabakia number of moles of b r t divided by v uh, from there now the total pressure itakuwa sana number of moles of a plus number of moles of b divided by v r t hiyo itakuwa ni total pressure ukiongeza gesi nyingine sasa ukiongeza gesi nyingine na let's say umeongeza gesi gesi c kwa hiyo tufanye total pressure itabadilika kwenda kwenye total pressure 2. Kwa hiyo ikibadilika kwenda kwenye total pressure 2 maana yake itakuwaje? A pressure of A will be equal to pressure of A will be equal to mole fraction of A pressure total mbili. Ambayo pressure total mbili imetokana nini na ku add gas C. So utakuja kukuta kwamba a Pressure A itakuwa number of moles of A divided by number of moles of A plus number of moles of B plus number of moles of C pressure T2. Kwa bila shaka kama pressure imeongezeka, hii mole fraction hapa itapungua kwa sababu hizi number of moles huko zitaongezeka. Unaona? Na hapo kija kuangalia then hii hapa sasa Tujie kusema number of moles of A ganya kwa number of moles of A plus number of moles of B plus number of moles of C. Tuna tuna kwenye nini? Kwenye pressure total number of moles of A plus number of moles of B plus number of moles of C. Then V divided by times RT. Kwa hiyo unajua gundua hiki na kile kitaisha na pressure A yatabaki vile number of moles of A R T divided by V. So the pressure of the gas ambayo ilikuwa kwenye container haibadiliki kutokana nini? Ah kutokana na ukiongeza gas nyingine. Pressure inabaki kuwa ni inabaki kuwa ni ile ile. Kwa hiyo kuongeza gas akubadilishi chochote kwenye kwenye pressure. Hence partial pressure of A and B remain unchanged even after addition of C in the container. Provided that the gas has no reaction with A or B present in the container. Kwa hiyo kwenye kipindi hichi tuishia hapo na kipindi kijacho tutaanza maswali tutaanza examples kwenye hii topic ya state ni watakio tazamaji mwema subscribe channel na ushare video kwa wanafunzi wenzako ili tuweze kwenda pamoja masomo mema